In this lesson, we're going to connect the wires inside the main service panel. So let's get started. So inside the panel, you want to ensure that the lockout device is still on. And we see that it is on. We put it on, remember, uh, initially, when we installed the solar breaker, we want to confirm that we've got it locked out still because we're connecting wires to it. We want that circuit to still remain dead. Inside the main service panel, you want to strip the wires that were pulled. So we've got L1, L2 neutral and ground. So let's use the wire stripping tool, touching on each one of the ends here, to strip off uh, 3 eighths of an inch of insulation from them. Then we want to use a screwdriver tool, and we're going to loosen a couple of positions on the neutral ground bar here for the neutral in the ground, and then also open up the two terminals on the solar breaker. Now we insert the uh, wires up to the solar breaker. So I'm going to touch on the wires and we're going to insert those wires into our main uh, solar breaker. And then inserting in, touching in either order, the neutral and the ground into the common neutral and ground. You may have an electrical service panel that has a separate neutral and a separate ground bar. In this case, they're together. And then we use the screwdriver to fasten them. Uh, into their terminals. And then we have already saved you some time by stripping and inserting the ground wire into the uh, ground bushing. Now we want to finish this work by, uh, since we have uh, electrically active wires here, we're going to touch on the protective cover and put that back in place to protect the wiring that's in behind it. And we're going to secure that cover by fastening the uh, protective cover with its security screw. And that's it. You're done. You've wired up the main service panel.